Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Europe Universe Studies 4. Today I have a few hours, probably two hours, and I'm going to continue the stream which we started yesterday. We continue our game with Ethiopia, it's 1493, and we were busy in a war in the south of Africa. The war for the gold mines of, of uh, Mutapa, if I remember. I'm McAllister, I Vuk, I Inferno, I Davi, I Razinese. Thank you for being here, thank you for supporting this uh, project of the English streaming. I will spend the first... wait a second. Want to be famous, buy followers and viewers on bapapa.com. That's fantastic, I'm receiving those messages. <laughs> I'm already famous, sorry. Okay, let, let's, let's have a look here. Um, we have a 48% of overextension, so we need to be careful for two reasons. Ethiopia is amazing, it's a superpower. It's only 1493, but we unified the Horn of Africa and now we are going south. Uh, we have also to strike against the Mamluks in the north. This is, this, today, this, yeah, I think that this is going to be the life. This is going to be the day. Probably we will uh, wage war towards the Mamluks. But I want to finish this war first. This war is Mombasa Mutapa. Okay, Mombasa has been already uh, crushed, and you can see that because Mombasa is just here. It's this little town. But uh, um, so this one, Lamu. But of course, Mutapa has still a lot of power, and I think, I think we can get already some gold mines. On the other hand. I keep my army here in the north because we might have a lot of rebels and probably soon we will have to strike the, uh, the Mamluks. What I could do, I could just, I could, I think I should not exaggerate. I will not take any territory here in Mutapa, even if it's going to be interesting. No, we don't have any casus belly against them. Okay, let's close this war. Let's do it. Let's try to close this. Yesterday I wasn't sure, but today I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to close this war. Let's take Mutapa. We will ask for money and compensation. Rebel uprising here and there. That's fine. Countries are at war. I know it. My ports are blockaded. I know it. I had casualties. I have unrest. I have a low crown land. I know it. What do I have to do? I have to convert Mogadishu. I'm going to. I'm doing it already. What else? Corruption is growing, age of discovery, truth will expire, build things, disputed things, defender of the faith, uncontested things, other things, other things. Good. Let's unpause the game. Hi everybody, thank you for being here. Can Ethiopia into space? asks Titi. I think so. I think so. I'm quite sure that Ethiopia can into space. Pretty sure about that. Okay, next idea. We can take national, no, garrison size plus 25%. Nope. We are going to um, take the level 8 in the military technology. If we want to face the Mamluks, we will need it. We have to declare war on the Mamluks in the next 12, e next 12 years because we have a 10% of morale given by, um, given by um, an event, actually a mission. Yeah, I have uh, deleted Kilwa. Kilwa is now super little. I destroyed them in a war, and good that I did it immediately. So basically, in in the in East Africa, there is only Mutapa, and Mutapa will be my next target. But first, the Mamluks. I wanted also to reach the maximum level of manpower. That's also a good idea. The ramparts might be also a very good idea. I could build them here. More attrition and more, more defensiveness in Casa di Brim. Just in case, I could do that. I could do that. Now let's close this war quickly. I just have to ask Mutapa to give me money. <coughs> I'm going to take their capital and then they will be done. Look at this. Stacken Weipen, to use a famous quote. <laughs> Okay, let's let's do this. Let's start uh, the carpet siege in the area of Mutapa. Very good. A military leader left us. Oh no! This is not that good because it means that my army, which was drilling, now stopped. No! I wasn't using this leader. 
Okay, maybe it was the Admiral. It was not the General. Could be. I don't know. However, thank you for being here, guys. I see you a lot already, even if I said uh, that I would continue streaming only on Tuesday. Today is not Tuesday, I know, but I had some time, so I said, why not? How are you doing, guys? How are you doing? More power to the nobility. Oh my god, Monty autonomy change. No way. No way that I'm getting more autonomy change with with uh, Ethiopia is a really really a pain, this autonomy thing. Big big pain, really. Gold mines are too far away. Okay, we have Zimbabwe. Let's do this. Miltech, level 8, and now Mutapa. Of course, I could do a lot of bad things to them, but I can pillage their capital. What is going to happen? Aggressive expansion. We negotiate on behalf of blah, blah, blah. Zimbabwe will be pillaged. This piece will cost with no casus belli. What is it? What, what is this giving to me, the pillage capital? Oh, we are not getting anything. That's why. Let's release some, some... Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Come on. We break Mutapa and we release uh, many other countries, just to make them weaker. Now we are next this little guy here, Mombasa. And the war in the south is done. Fantastic. And now we have to think where the next rebels will strike. First of all. Second of all, I am going to decrease the... Um, let me do that. Where is it? Here. Yeah. I'm going to decrease the local autonomy. Uh, this will trigger a lot of rebellions, but otherwise the otherwise it's a really pretty big problem. Fantastic. We have some uh, some areas with almost 100% autonomy, which is crazy. Fantastic, so uh, the missionary strength works quite well for me at the moment. Let's move our army, let's wait for the next rebels and probably I'm going to build a little bit more my army, bring in more cannons. Uh, Mamelukes, 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 they're not doing anything. Okay, the next mission <coughs> will be conquer Suakin. We, are, we have to take the control of Swakin, which is Mamluk's territory. And that if I manage to, to reach Alexandria, that would be fantastic because it's also a holy city for my religion, which is Coptic. Great. Now we need really two armies. We definitely need two armies. take care of several rebels here and there. Okay, it's a matter of development. Thank you, Vuk. But I think that in this particular case, pillaging that area wouldn't give me any development. That's the reason why I was confused, because it was telling me that. No, I'm not using any mercenary at the moment. Any mercenary corp, not at all. I'm going to build some. Uh, I'm going to build here the ramparts on the border with my friends, Mama Mama Lux. A new era, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. And there it goes. Songs of the Pious until February fifteen zero five. Prestige and monthly autonomy minus zero five. This is very good because the monthly autonomy has to be slowed down. Yeah, wonderful. 
stop it. We are gonna have a lot, a ton of rebels now. We have to deal with a lot of rebels now. Ah, the question also today. Those guys are cover regiments. They are special for Ethiopia. They are very good. I really like them. And you can hire them just uh, going here and saying take cover. They cost military uh, power, not money. And they start with 100 troops, not a 1,000. But they are very strong. They grow slower, they cost more in terms of integration. No, yesterday I started a new, a completely new run with Ethiopia. Completely new because uh, I am not converting to Judaism. I stay Coptic for the time being. Let me see if I can. Yes, I can. Let's do it. Let me take the missionary school so finally I can get an extra missionary and I can convert faster. I wanted to do that. Good. You completed the state agenda, convert Mogadishu, fine. Now let me see what I can do here, everything looks fine. Let's go to Arabia, oh, wait a second. Wait a second, why? Okay, good. The coring provinces has never been so nice. I keep drilling when I can. I keep drilling when I can. It's obvious that we have a lot of rebels because uh, it's uh, 19, uh, 1496 and I have half of Africa. I mean, my expansion was, uh, was crazy good. My expansion was amazing. But now that we have more what can I say? We have more... Uh, uh, now that we reduce the overextension, things are going to be better also with the rebels. I mean, we are going to have another 10, 10 12 uh, rebellions and then we are going to be fine. And then all this area will be ours, our forever, so no problem. What do you think? Good. We're full of money, that's amazing. Because I use always use the states. Aden is now rebelling. I said I will use this army because Arabia just rebelled, so I will not be I don't care. And I was very wrong. Because rebels never sleep, apparently. No, I'm not planning any war conquest. That's too boring, <laughs> to be honest. I plan the Aksumit Empire, if I manage. By the way, yeah, that's good. I wanted to check. I am giving the focus on the admin points, which is very important. Very good. <laughs> it's really funny. It's really like there is no way that I that I can relax a little bit, right? No way. And the Ottomans are just uh, so sweet. They're not. They're not attacking. In the last thirty years, the Ottomans never attacked the. Um, it's crazy. The Mamelukes. Never, never, never. I find it's... 
I mean, disappointing because that would be such a help. Nah, not in this life. Okay, we have lost an advisor. We are going to take a second advisor with a plus 10% morale. It's going to help. And another quantity idea. Yes, now we can. Oh, wait a second. Let's take this idea. Guys on size plus 25. What is this? The burgers will lose loyalty but uh, and influence, which is okay. Otherwise, we get more local autonomy. No way. Good. Damar. And Shewa now. Let's get Shewa and then let's go back south. Look at these rebel factions. They're getting smaller and smaller. So I'm very happy that they are rebelling all right now because when we will be in a war against the Mamelukes, uh, we will not have a lot of time. Hey, Mario. Let's keep converting. Let's keep converting. And coring. Ciao core, as we say. <coughs> okay, the Battle of Shewa was also done. Now we go south a little bit, just here, close to Kirwa, because those guys might rebel again. Or Bio, for example, very soon. Okay, so let's get... Uh... Yeah. Let's wait. Let's just wait, they are almost... We're almost there, we are almost there. We are almost there. Great. Uh, fewer rubber control by... okay. I want to sell the, sell the titles and then uh, seize the land and then take the diet. Okay, the nobility wants a manufacturer in Ausa. They went, want a church in uh, and this, they want a workshop. I can increase the nobility having a manufacturer in Ausa. It is here. We, uh, we have livestock here. What kind of manufacturer do we want to have? Like... Uh, a cow factory a farm estate okay fine let's do it let's do it and um, one and a half one three one nineteen two and two two and seven two and seven let's take the Varsangali and provoke a revolt uh, cancel where where is the Varsangali rebel in Las Corre let's provoke a revolt when once we are here and uh, Mogadishu Will be the next one. Yeah, absolutely. The golden mines in the south are a target. I just didn't expand too much now because uh, I would have issues otherwise. Okay, let's go right. Provoke a revolt. We provoke the revolt. They are stronger, but we crush them right away. So they have no time to breathe. Now we go to Mombasa, to Lamu. We do the same thing. And we do... Nah, it's getting better. A Mogadishu. Okay, do, then go here. You go here. You go north, actually. Drilling, 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 drilling. And now let's uh, spawn the rebels of Mogadishu. Good. Now we have only Mombasa, which is difficult, uh, I mean tricky. Let's go to Lamu and let's uh, provoke also those guys. And once we are done here, then then we are good. Then we are good. I am over first limit. Yeah, I am over first limit a few... Uh, 4,000. But look at this gold. I mean, eh. What do you think? I, I think I can... I can can do that. Semyon will rebel, Angot will rebel. Where is Angot? 
here. Okay, fine. Let's move to Angot. One point seven three years. I don't know. I don't know if I should provoke them. I don't think so. Okay, let's bring our galleys here because we are going to use those galleys. Okay, um, they did everything by themselves, so fine. Let, let's wait for the last three rebels. And then we can say that we close this bad chapter and we can focus on the war against the Mamluks. Which are still so... That's so crazy. I hate it, but... They're allied with Adramut, so I will attack Adramut, uh, put in Danko Belligerant. So I will take the control of Adramut and wait. Here, they will try to get this uh, region with the fort and the ramparts. So they will spend some, quite some time here. If they want to go in this direction, otherwise they will go down south. Um, I will try to then... I will show you. Let's see. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. That's very good. That's very good. Don't forget, they are also 8 as a military level. They're very strong. Okay, good. Now we have also our big chunk of rebels, and soon the beta uh, will... The beta will rebel. The beta Israelites are also separatists. Uh, let me provoke them. Thank you, Gogux. Gogux. Thank you <coughs> very much. I'm a little bit sick today. I have a... Um, have a cold, sneezing time by time. My voice is also nasal, but please forgive me. Good. That should be the last one. The, fun the fungi separatists will revolt in 23 years, so I think I can survive it. That was really annoying, but it was necessary to clean up all the mess that we have created, and now things are getting better and better. Those guys are going here. Those guys are moving directly in this place, and I'm taking my fleet, putting them all together, because our fleet will have to fight against the Mamalak fleet. It's gonna be interesting. First thing we are going to do is to block the Red Sea and Suez, just to piss the Mamluks off. And let's take Adramut, and then let's see. Okay, when I declare war on Adramut, with the co-belligerent thing, Ormut will not enter, so we will be against Yemen, which is not to underestimate. We'll be against Anizza and Medina. So all this area, all this area, the Egypt, part of Arabia and Yemen, will be against us. That's why I need also second uh, army here. But it's not going to be too dramatic because Karakoyulu will not enter. Bad, 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 because they are indebted. Uh, we are going to have more cannons. They are going to have something like dub a, a double army compared to us. So Let's work on the spy network. I work on the spy network also against the Mamluks because this will help me during the sieges. Let's get ready for the war. No, 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 I'm not declaring war now. I'm getting ready. The ramparts will be ready probably in a few months. Just in time for the Casus Belli. No worries. By the way, you're right. Let's move our army here south. Let's take Suakin. Let's see what they do. If they are... So, um, let's say, aggressive, and they go directly on uh, uh, Kazli Brim, then we will see what to do. We can leave them there. Let's give a defensive act also. It's going to be tricky to take this fort, I promise you. Ayazi. It's going to be, it's going to be tricky. Okay, good. And now we start drilling and getting ready. 
Hi, Sir Plur. Prestige admin. Let's lose admin power. Good, good, good. Oh, this this is really cool. Huh? We were waiting for this. We've been waiting for this since a long time. And Ethiopia now is fully under control. No one will rebel anymore. We can focus on the war in the north. It's great. I can convert. Forgot about this. Sorry. Let me do that right now. Let's take some, some fastest. Uh, okay, let's do another thing. Probably it's easier. The Jewish region should remain as they are. Let's start converting this area. Let's say enforce the religious unity. And we start with this one here. And this one here. So it's going to be more efficient. Yes, Azzy, I'm Italian. I'm streaming in English. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's blowing your mind, isn't it? Wow. I explained everything on my YouTube channel. On this channel, everything is explained. So even this mystery can be unveiled to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, le wow. Everything costs so much. I think our inflation is skyrocketing. Come on. Do you see? Much better. Well, more or less. <laughs> more or less. Pity that I cannot uh, increase the number of my troops. Now I have a force limit of 37. Why? Because the um, monkey autonomy keeps growing and growing, and that's a problem. Let's have more combat bonus when we are in the territory of our capital, which is the Highlands. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. I could take now a Golden Age. No, I need... Uh, okay, still two provinces without Renaissance. Then I could start the Golden Age. I don't want to do it. I don't want to burn the Golden Age for the war against the Mamluks because I think it's not necessary, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the, the ramparts should be done now. They are. I can get a last... And I do it. A last... Uh, uh, idea land attrition minus 10% and land force limit plus 50%. This is going to be interesting now. This is going to be interesting. Just a second, please. <coughs> they might have to take a break. Okay, no. Okay, just a second, please. Okay. We are waiting for the... My goodness. Let's decrease as much as we can this autonomy. This, this is crazy. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm going to mute my microphone. Good. Okay, we are done. You are there. Adramut, let's take the. We need twenty. What? What the hell? Seriously, come on. I don't have yet. I don't have the the spy network yet here. Okay. Fine. Yemen is allied with Adam, Medina, Mar, and Najid, so they will not be co-belligerent, otherwise it's too um, complicated. Okay, let's stop drilling. Let me see if now my force limit is better. Look at this. Look at this. I... <sighs> Look at this with the ideas. <laughs> I forgot. Let's give some cavalry and cannons here. Some cavalry and cannons and infantry here. We're full of money, so let's build up our army a little bit more. Which is amazing. Which is amazing because now we can really be strong and also our siege will be faster. The sieges will be very, very fast. Great. Great, 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 great. Very happy. So let's wait another minute. I keep the army professionalism as it is. I'm not going to 
use it for the manpower now because that's okay. Are you ready, guys? So, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win in this war? Ethiopia or the Mamluks? The Mamluks have a stronger army, stronger allies, stronger camels, stronger.